Oh shit! <laughs> that was good, huh? The bird scared me. I scared him and then he scared me. Alright guys, so now that all the lights are on, now that I've made sure that there's water, snacks for the kids in case they do come, uh, the music is right. It's pretty chill right now. I don't know who, the, who that, that singer is. Um, so now, I'm gonna make sure people can find my model house um, if they do pass by. One thing that I do um, as marketing, you know, aside from just signage that we do have directing people to where the model home's at, um, I'm constantly marketing on Facebook and promoting for open houses. So there's a lot of back end work that goes behind this to make sure that we're getting enough traffic for me and my agents to sell all of our inventory. So we're gonna go ahead and put this stud muffin up in the front. Usually what I'll do is I'll also put balloons on these signs. Our helium tank just ran out. Making sure it's just presentable. Now we're headed to a brand new listing that I just got. They posted a really cool story on Instagram. I've been getting a lot of feedback. And over numbers, their house was previously listed with an agent that wasn't marketing right or doing anything to help get the house sold. This couple actually saw one of my videos on Facebook. Hey, what's going on guys? Manny Carrera, your real estate resource. I'm out here in the East El Paso area checking out one of my favorite developments to come to the city, the East Side Sports Complex. Complex, so they saw the video, they inboxed me and said, hey, um, we live right behind that park, can you help us sell our house? Today they were interviewing a bunch of realtors. I was one of the three that they interviewed and because I gave them all the knowledge that they needed to make a decision, they called me later that night and asked me if, if I would be the realtor. The photographer? Be great. Uh, he'll be coming in sometime tomorrow if that's okay with you guys. Just tell us what you need us to do. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So, yeah, Wait, so... in here, I know that there are some totes and stuff that I just need him to move to the garage. But okay, kind of no problem. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we'll do another walkthrough just like yesterday. But I'll just, as we're going, I'm just going to kind of give you suggestions on what to kind of minimize okay. and to, you know, if there's clutter. Up, so, yeah. His grandpa, he had a, had a couple of show cars and he had a 69 and a half road run. I would say just declutter yeah. up on here. Mm -hmm. I'll just box that up. Yeah, declutter that. And and I would say, right? yeah, I would say for sure, living area, we want to have it as minimal as possible okay. to open it up as much as possible. Okay. Okay, so for sure, I would say declutter all all that. Okay. Okay. Photos. Oh, and if we have a, do you guys have light bulbs? If yes. not, I'll bring some tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And the bathroom as well. Okay. That way, once we, because we're going to turn on all the lights. <laughs> angle just because it's depth. Right, just People I'm like right. to see that it has a big closet That's and right. I think this is a good size closet. Right. All right guys, right. sounds good. We'll, we'll let you guys get to it. And, um, yeah, right. we'll be in contact. I'm gonna call right now. Hey Josh, it's Manny. Hey, what's up? Hey brother, they I just... I was expecting your call actually. I, I didn't think it was gonna go through. Yeah, yeah, no, they just they just text me that uh, the owner's still there, but he said to swing on by, so... I'm headed there now. I could be there in about 10 minutes. Um, you guys want to meet me? Okay, yeah, let me, let me get changed real quick. I'm like working on the car and shit. Um, yeah, let me get changed and I will we'll be right there as soon as possible. Alright, sounds good, man. I'll meet you there. Alright, sounds good, man. Bye-bye. Right now, we're headed to uh, one of my clients. They're a buyer and we found them a house uh, about two weeks ago. Actually, this house that we just passed. Uh, so let me bust the U-turn. But um, we've already gone through some of the process as far as you know the sale so we got this house on contract about a week and a half ago really cute house um, three bed two bath very well taken care of nice brick house um, very updated very well maintained He's here so
check the, sw the, the evaporative cooler, everything works. Actually, my buyer is now friends with the seller, so they're in the backyard talking. <laughs> Very rare, it doesn't happen. But uh, buyer just met seller. <laughs> so I'm just chilling here in the living room waiting for them to finish talking or we're doing whatever they're doing. Um, but yeah, it was good. So it was funny because this house, very nice house. Um, the story with my client is we were actually looking at houses. We were looking for about a month and a half. And in their price point here in El Paso, it's kind of hard to find a house that's moving ready, no maintenance needed, you know, that turnkey and they can move in. So I looked at my phone, the first house that I saw was this one. Just hit the market, only been on the market for like an hour. I called the agent right away. On the special notes, she literally put, you need a 24 hour notice. I called her, begged her if we can see it within the hour. She made it happen, we came in with my clients, they fell in love with it, and we put an offer within three hours of being on the market. We were the first buyers to see the house, and that's what it, you, you know, that's what it really takes uh, for real estate agents to be successful. You have to constantly know what's on the market. You have to have a good idea of what kind of inventory is out there for your clients, because at the end of the day, there's 500 other agents with buyers in that same price point looking in that same neighborhood, so it comes down to who's hungrier and who's faster, and in this case, we won.